Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a video on how to boost your FPS on Gundam Evolution. Um, it's not necessarily well optimized, but it's kind of okay right now, the status of the game. So we're going to start with best optimization for Windows, and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar. Go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32, just divided by two. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game. So first of all, the display mode, I really recommend to use full screen. Borderless window was causing me a lot of stuttering in this game, so that's why I'm using full screen. For the resolution, I recommend to go with the native resolution of your monitor. So if you have a 2K monitor, just go with the, the, your 2K resolution. If you have a 1080p, go with 1080p. 
for the feel of you, me, I'm playing this game at 100, but you need to keep uh, in mind that more you will add feel of you, more you will lose FPS. So if you're playing on a very old computer or an integrated GPU, I recommend to start at 90 do the old guide after that if you're still struggling with your fps maybe lower a little bit your feel of you and if you have a decent amount of fps you can definitely also put your fov a little bit higher for the frame rate you got uh four different bracket over there i recommend to just go with the maximum 120 i tried to go in uh, the config file and modify some stuff uh it seems to be hard luck at 120 also, they don't recommend to touch your config file because you can get banned, so I don't recommend to do that. So just go with 120. For the VSync, I don't use the VSync on any game, honestly. I have a free sync monitor, so if you have free sync or G Sync technology, uh, just put your VSync at off. If you don't have those technologies, it's question of preference. If you don't care about tiering, just stay your VSync at off off if you don't like tiering you can put your vsync at on but you will add input lag in your game render scale you have three bracket i don't recommend to ch touching it honestly just go with 100 you want your render scale one for one at 75 percent honestly the game is too blurry it doesn't look good and your visibility will be trash honestly so just don't do that for post-processing, I recommend to go with low. If you go ultra to low, you can expect a nice 5-6% to 6 boost in your FPS. And also, your visibility will be a lot better in the game. For texture filtering, it really depends on the amount of VRAM that you have on your GPU. So if you have 6 gig or more, go with ultra. 4 gig high, 3 gig medium, and less than 3 gig, go with low. After that, for shadow, this is probably the parameter that will provide you the most of FPS. If I compare ultra to low, you can expect a nice 22% boost in your FPS. So this one, just go with low. It will help a lot to stabilize and boost your FPS. Anti-aliasing, they're not telling you which kind of anti-aliasing they, they use and stuff. It's more like ultra, high, medium, or low. I recommend to go with low. You will have a nice 8% boost in your FPS and also... And the intelligence in this game is not great. Everything looks blurry. So I really recommend to go with low with this one. So this is pretty much it uh, with Gundam Evolution. Uh, in system setting... I'll just go that. In system setting, you can activate frame rate if you don't use the one from Steam. Or you don't use, I don't know, uh, MSI Afterburner. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it. If you have any question about this game and performance... Just uh, post me your rigs, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.